It's gotta be a 1v1 versus a hacker. Yep, he's hacking! I 1v1'd a hacker on Rebirth Island, and I beat him so badly that he accused me of hacking. But I'm gonna show you how just playing smart can actually be better than having hacks. I actually ran into this hacker multiple times in the same game, and at first I wasn't really sure if he was cheating or not. Wait, I think he's on like the second level. Oh, chill. This first interaction did not seem suspicious at all. Just some guy hitting some solid shots shortly after I climbed over the wall. But this next one, I started to become a bit concerned. Yep, I, that's where he is. Play. Well done. <sighs> yeah. Interesting for a level eight. So after hitting a quick regain, grabbing a loadout, which by the way, was not exactly a meta loadout by any means, because at the time I was doing a winning with every pass meta challenge. And at this moment, we were on the first Warzone 3 meta, which was the Bass B and the WSP Swarm, which are not meta currently. And by the way, I'm still in the midst of completing this challenge, which I'm streaming both on YouTube and on Twitch now, if you want to check that out. And that video will be coming soon. It didn't take long, though, for me to run into that same guy yet again. Yo, the... It's the same guy. This guy might be... Yeah, I don't know. He's got some crazy pre-aims. Now you might be wondering if this guy really was cheating, how was I able to kill him here? And don't worry, I have a definitive proof that this guy was hacking, which we'll show later. This fight here was actually pretty simple. Number one, I limited my body's exposure by just barely peeking my head over the stairs enough to see the enemy. And number two, I pre-aimed the spot that guy. he was most likely to challenge me from which is exactly what he did. He's either just a really good player on all, or he's... Now, moments later, I was already in another gunfight. Oh, my... I gotta get up here quick. I gotta get up here quick. And when I saw that same yellow operator skin again, I knew I had to play this very smart if I was going to win. So since I had just cracked his armor, this was my chance to push immediately and use this as momentum in the fight. I think he's yacked. I don't know. Again, you'll see that I'm able to win this fight simply by keeping the pressure on him, but slowing down in pre-aiming where he's most likely to challenge me from, allowing me to just get clean shots. I think he's got a little bit of the, the W-A-L-L-S. I don't know, I don't know. He might just be a good player, but he's had some crazy, every time he's like coming around a corner already shooting me. Like I'm not confident enough to report him, but I, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, TikTok says he's streaming with hacks. Oh, we have another one of these again. Bro, you are, you are horrible for having hacks. Now, finally, my suspicions had been confirmed by none other than my TikTok live chat. Who normally, they're the ones telling me that I'm cheating, but today, they were actually kind of nice to me. Where's old boy at? The him? I gotta, ah, oh man, I'm gonna run into him. He's, as soon as he gets his loadout there, I'm shocked. A few moments later. Okay, it's gotta be a 1v1 versus a hacker. Yep, he's hacking! Let's go, you freaking hacker, you suck! Ah! If you ever wondered if he was hacking, my man shoots me through like eight walls. Some of you might still be wondering though, is this guy even hacking in the first place? And how the heck was I able to kill him multiple times despite this? Again, you'll notice a similar trend in all of these kills I had against him. I'm behind cover and I'm barely exposed and I'm always pre-aiming where he's most likely to peek me. This guy was also probably way overconfident in his ability because of the fact that he had hacks, which made him put himself in just dumb positions. Now for the definitive proof. One of my viewers jumped over to the hacker stream and was able to record the final moments, and his reaction was priceless. Oh, 
Pickup is gonna shot on it. Nick, like, like, right. Hi. Yeah, bro. Nice shots, bro. There's no way Bo doesn't have walls, okay? I'm a hacker, I should know this, bro. Huh. Quit complaining you're hacking, okay, bro. That's crazy. I, I kinda yeah. I wish I could see that cocaine, okay, bro. Imagine. Alright, okay, it's okay. How TF you lose hacking? So shout out to my viewer, MPX player, for sending me that. I appreciate you. I'm also assuming that this guy was only running wall hacks and then this wide third person FOV, but not a full on blatant aimbot. He might have had like a soft aim that made his kind of aim assist extra sticky, but I don't think he was blatant aimbot, which basically gave me a chance to actually win against him. Now, I'm sure there's gonna be some people in the comments saying, well, the only way that you won was because you must be hacking as well. So what is my response to that? Number one, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you still don't believe me, number one, I've dropped 30 plus kill Warzone gameplays on a PS5 with a stock normal controller. I've also dropped plenty of high kill games with a monitor cam on my PC, and I stream all of my games with a hand cam, which are all publicly available to watch on my YouTube channel. If you're someone that's frustrated with Warzone and you want to get better at the game, you're always blaming the other person for camping, stacking, or hacking, you should probably check out some of my videos on YouTube. Number one, my Warzone aim guide and my Warzone movement guide number two. We've had tons of people vouch to how those videos have drastically helped them improve their gameplay. We also have an entire playlist called Warzone 3 Tips and we'll have plenty for Black Ops 6 and more about how to get better at the game. And by the way, I stream all of this live on YouTube and now also on Twitch as well. We're starting to multi-stream to Twitch. So if you wanna come check those out, jump in, ask questions about how to get better or just watch the gameplay to help you get better, I would encourage you to do so. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, make sure you leave a like.